this is my rant on the BlackBerry 9320. So, here is my BlackBerry. Like I said, 9320. I hate it. People love their BlackBerry, but I hate it because food gets stuck in the keyboard. And it's overall really bad. Like, people say they love their BlackBerry, but I feel like I can just out a wall and hope it breaks, which it never did yet. It's slow. When it's cold, it dies. Like, if it's, like, in the winter, it dies. And it automatically decides to reset itself at random points in the, in the day. And... May I mind you, it's in perfect condition. The battery's white. Like, what it means is, for those of you who don't have to deal with that, if it's water damage, it turns red. And if you overly water damage it, it turns, like, blood red. And then, like, yeah. Anyways. So. There's not much to say, but I'm going to try. I'm going to show you all around it. This is a really bad phone to get water damaged. There's a hole here, two here, speaker here, and the keyboard as well. And as well here. So this phone is just waiting to get water damaged. And it's, ugh, it's so slow. And you can barely get anything on it because of the room. Like, the room... I have a two gigabyte memory card because you need a memory card in, or in order to have like music and to store photos on it and also contact so if you, you know, update your phone. And then the like hardware memory inside the phone that's already built in is supposedly eight gigabytes. I feel like you only get four gigabytes because of all the apps and the text messaging room you need. Now, I do say... The only thing I do like about this phone is that you kind of get a decent battery life. You get three days. Not my cup of tea. And if you do one thing, like say you download a theme, which is you can change the wallpaper and the layout of the apps. It's really complicated to explain. You can mess up your entire phone. And that's what happens. So now if I want to go find Wi-Fi in a public restaurant, I can't because it won't let me in the system. So, if I want to get another phone, I would use my mother's iPhone 3. I know it's a 3, but it's way worth it than having my Blackberry. And, this is this also is a 9320, like I've been mentioning. And, it just keeps going up. So, like, there's probably like a 9340. So, they're constantly updating, so you never have exactly what you want. iPhones, however... They don't really change as much. For example, this is iPhone 3. The next one is iPhone, sorry, iPhone 4, which I believe it has a flash, invert, inverse camera, and overall better screen. Like it's square, not like rounded. And it's a lot thinner. I love this. I can't show you right now because it is dead. But the layout systems, oh my goodness, so easier. The keyboard. And if you have a proper case for it, you can get something called auto boxes. You can on this as well. But uh, there's an auto box on it already. And everything covers it. Besides two speakers down here. You can't get this thing water damaged unless you really try. So this is my rant. Blackberry versus iPhone. Don't get a Blackberry. One last thing to add. I don't use this very much. Like, the stuff that is on here, the only thing I use is... So, um, I rarely use this thing. All I use is the texting, the phoning, well, the apps, and my camera. The only thing is there's a flash that's good, but it's too bright. It's possible. But, I mean, like, to use your email, which is generally what it's made for, you need to, it costs extra money just to get an enterprise account, which is what you need in order to get email. And if you want to use Facebook or Twitter and YouTube, it's so complicated to use, especially the internet as well. 
because you need to use this black trackpad unlike the iPhone where you can use everything yeah so hopefully you catch my drift and to sum it all up get an iPhone not a Blackberry and that was my rant on Blackberries versus iPhones